I'm a composer. Uh, this means I write music, I put things together. And I want to tell you a little story about an experiment that I've just found myself plunging into without having really planned it. It's just something that's happened. But it's a lot of fun, and I just wanted to share uh, a little bit about it. It's actually a story about laziness. You see, I, I had a commission to write a, a piece for a choir in Sydney, a children's choir, and uh, I'd left it to the night before it was due. <laughs> and so, of course, uh, what I did about this was I went on Facebook, and I just played around on Facebook at 10 o'clock at night, the night before it was due. I had to even go to the rehearsal the next day at 9, at 9 o'clock in the morning. So um, part of me was freaking out, and part of me was just updating my status. And, <laughs> uh, and so, you know, I was, I was just trying to think of a way to get out of this problem, an easy way to fix the problem of turning up to a rehearsal without a piece. And uh, I, I just thought, you know what, I'll... I'll get a bunch of status updates from my friends and smash them together into a piece, into a piece of music. So I did this, and uh, you know I got all these uh, crazy things like uh, somebody said, Eleanor Hayes wants to cook an omelette, and uh, hey there, little bit of chocolate on my sleeve, I'm totally saving you for later. <laughs> and, it, and it was really just uh, a means to an end. So we're going to, uh, if we can just play the, uh, play the clip, we, uh, I, I took it to the, uh, to the choir and they enjoyed it, so I thought I'll arrange this now for my big kids, the Australian Voices. So this is the video we made on YouTube.
Thanks a lot, thanks very much. So my friend described this as a meme bang, which um, I think is a wonderful word and uh, maybe an, a, good, a good idea for a, a title of a piece. I'd like to call a piece meme bang, maybe not for children's choir. So um, what I find exciting about uh, this kind of music or what I stumbled across here is just the disconnectedness of the uh, crazy text and the quite lyrical music. It creates this tug between, or this tension in you between which, which is taking over here. Is it meaningless or is it beautiful? And it's, I, I like this, this tension. Uh, so I've started a few other experiments in this same kind of vein, and I've nicknamed it for the moment social music. And what I mean by this is it's music taken from many different sources, in this case, Facebook status updates, where there are many uh, collaborators, either conscious or unconscious collaborators, and uh, a composer or an artist collates this, collects it, gathers it into uh, a coherent piece of art. Uh, and, uh, you know, I think this is um, kind of exciting you know, in the way that instead of the building blocks of music being chords and notes and rhythms and things like this. The building blocks of music can be memes, you know? And in this sense, the composer, uh, if you take the word compose and its etymological root, it's compose, together put, you know? So why not take memes and put them together? So I want to um, uh, play you a, uh, another clip. This is a piece that I just finished writing and uh, we've, we've just recorded it. No one's heard this yet at all, so I don't know what anyone thinks of it. We'll have to find out. Uh, I, um, I love the music of uh, the avant-garde music of the 60s. And I, uh, I grew up, well, in my, when I was studying music, I uh, played a lot of avant-garde music. And there is a, a wonderful form which emerged in the 60s called mosaic form. And Michael Tippett and uh, Stravinsky pioneered this form. It's where you take very, very short musical ideas, fragments that go for maybe a half a second or a second, uh, and then stop and go immediately onto another totally contrasting idea that's absolutely disconnected. And uh, you, you might have in a piece, say, 10 of these fragments that are put back and forth on top of each other, extended, shortened, uh, superimposed, uh, and manipulated in this way over and over again, and they form a sort of kaleidoscope, a mosaic pattern. And um, so I, I really like this form, and I thought, what would be better in the 21st century for our minuscule attention spans than to take uh, a bunch of pop songs and just find those oral memes in the pop songs that are, uh, that are recognizable and, you know, smash them together into a, into a mashup. Uh, and uh, so I, I got my singers together from the Australian Voices, they're all sort of 19, 20, 21, and we had a couple of parties. I love parties. I love composing by party. <laughs> so uh, we, uh, we just listened to a lot of trashy pop songs, which, you know, part of me really likes them. I actually like these songs. And so uh, I like the idea of kind of ridiculing something at the same time as celebrating it. And uh, we, we just took these pop songs and found the bits that were funny or interesting or recognizable. And we came up with a plan to sort of smash them into each other one by one. Now, this is called Trash Mash. It goes for about three minutes. And we're going to play it for you now. You, uh, if you can listen out for, I don't know if anybody saw Eric Whitaker's Virtual Choir. It's a really, really beautiful composition. It's, it's called Sleep. And um, we also quoted this piece, Sleep, in this composition. So it's mostly pop songs smashed together, just one second or two second fragments. Pop songs from today, like from the last couple of months. Um, 
and there is this one example of Eric Whittaker right in the middle. I like Eric Whittaker, so it's not, it's not ridicule, but it is fun to kind of have these transcendent moments in the middle of garble. Trash mash. Jason Derulo. Barbara Streisand. Oh, 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 Thanks very much. Thanks a lot. So uh, I didn't actually write a, p a single note of this piece. So, uh, but am I the composer of this piece? It's hard to say. I think maybe I am. I mean, I call it my piece, but it's, it's as I said before, compose, put together. Uh, now, oh, I, I, I like, I should mention, just the, the, the sense of transcendence at those moments of comparative beauty. In, in that piece. There are just a couple of moments where it's very slow and very chordal and, and beautiful. And this is the tension that I really love to get my hands on. Uh, as you can tell, I love the internet. And uh, uh, on the internet, there, there's lots of stuff created by morons. <laughs> but, uh, but still, 
you find a lot of funny stuff. And I like the way these, these good ideas bubble to the top. These funny ideas, interesting ideas bubble to the top. And it's no, as everybody knows, it's no longer a case of um, entertainment or content being dictated by the, uh, the radio station or the television network. It's uh, user-driven content. And I'm really interested to see uh, if we can make music that is user-driven. This is not the only type of music I compose. It's just a weird experiment I'm in. So the, um, the next piece uh, I'm, I'm writing, I started work on it today. Uh, I'm, I'm going to take laziness to the extreme, and I want everyone else to write my piece for me. And so uh, I, I would like to do this by Facebook comment, comment thread, uh, which can be very entertaining. Comment threads can be very entertaining or stupid or tragic. Uh, so this morning I created a Facebook event we could just uh, find that that slide, uh, and it's I, I just put the first bar there and invited uh, a few people to come along and, and contribute to it, and I think we've also already got a, a number of contributions. We've got a, a piece that's about five bars long already, and uh, I just started with the word white and wrote a single bar, and uh, already people have been contributing to it, and I was a bit worried that maybe it would go uh, a bit haywire and people would just create um, funny, stupid stuff that would just wreck it. But it's actually, um, it's actually quite interesting that people seem to be respecting it and putting a bar that really seems to belong there. So if there's another slide of these um, uh, pictures stuck together. So um, everyone has chosen the word white and just extended on this idea. Uh, and taken this opening motive and really stuck with it. So just, just the way it is right there is actually quite beautiful. I played it on the piano just before I came, and uh, you know I was quite impressed. So I'm really excited to see where this, this goes. Wouldn't it be amazing if this piece actually sounded good? <laughs> I mean, even if it's a train wreck, we'll still sing it. We'll still do it, and it'll be interesting, I think. But if it's beautiful, um, that will be you know, quite a, a special and moving moment for me, I think. So, as I said, this is just a, uh, you know, a weird experiment that I kind of stepped in without realizing it. There was no rationale or uh, you know, special meaning behind the first experiment I did, but I kind of found myself in it, and it's fun, it's kind of addictive and exuberant and fun, and you know, I'll keep doing it. Thanks very much for listening.